Never fear, Cinders is here. And today I have a Dragon Ball Theory discussion video for you. And our topic today is the fact that Zamasu still exists in Future Trunks' timeline. Now there are some huge spoilers if you've not watched episode 59 of Dragon Ball Super. Or if you've not watched the preview for episode 60. So if you've not watched those, you may want to stop the video here, turn the volume off, whatever. Come back and watch it sometime later after you're caught up on Dragon Ball Super. Still here? So our two options for why Zamasu is still there. We see in the middle of episode 59, Beerus destroys, disintegrates Zamasu. And he is believed to be dead. He should be dead. Not enough time has passed for the, dra the Super Dragon Balls to be active. So he couldn't have gone collecting the Super Dragon Balls and gotten a wish for his immortality yet. And as far as I can tell, there has been no event, except maybe one, where a new timeline could have emerged. Now, new timelines emerge as best as we can tell in Dragon Ball when someone from the future goes into the past or with knowledge of the future uses it to alter events in the past or from their perspective, the present. Then they create a new timeline. Trunks does it. Cell does it by coming back to the past as well. And between the two of them, coming back more than once, in Trunks' case, they create four new timelines instead of the original one that Trunks was from. Which may be important as to why things are happening in his timeline if his was the original timeline. But that's a different matter here and there. So the only way I can, under I can see a new timeline having been created is in Beerus, Whis, Goku and the Supreme Kai going to stop Zamasu from killing Gowasu after Goku and them have gone to the future and fought them and got their butts kicked and come back and healed. So between those events somewhere it is possible an alternate timeline has been created in Universe 10. So that there are two different timelines Zamasu's and Goasu's. One where Zamasu successfully kills Goasu and gets his Patara earrings, gets the time rings, collects the Dragon Balls in the future, and makes his wishes and sets everything up for what we understand to happen and what we've seen happen in Trunks' timeline. Now, that what we do know is that Whis's technique did not create the time split. When they came and checked the time rings the first time around, they came to Goasu and Zumasu. They came to check the time ring. And they check, and there's the four time rings, the four alternate timeline rings for Universe 7, from what we know Trunks and Cell did in Universe 7. And then there's the main time ring. So at that point, no other timelines have been created. And that would mean that we turning back time, doing a temporal do-over in the fight with Frieza on Earth didn't create a time split. So if that didn't create a time split, his doing the temporal do-over to stop Zamasu from killing Gowasu would not create a time split in Universe 10. So that in itself didn't create a time split. But the fact that Goku and Vegeta went to the future with Trunks and came back with information from the future that helped them know that Goasu had to have been killed so that Zamasu could get a hold of his earrings and the time rings. Maybe they're going to the future and gathering that information for Whis and Beerus to piece together and go stop him. Maybe that did create 
an alternate timeline. That's a possibility. And it's the only one I can really see. The only other thing I can see is, you know, for some reason, the fact that he succeeded initially in, in gaining those time rings, his destruction in the present didn't create a time split, but he was protected by the time rings themselves. And if he were to remove the time ring, he would then no longer exist. That's the only other option I can think of. So basically your two options for why Zamasu is still there as far as I can tell is not in the actual act of killing Zamasu but in going to stop and killing Zamasu because of the, the information they gathered Goku and them helped create an alternate timeline in Universe 10 so that one timeline has a dead Zamasu and the other timeline has one that succeeds or in some way or fashion the time rings protect Zamasu and Black from disappearing because of the actions that took place in the present. Those are the two options I've come up with and I, the only ones I can really see. I hope you will uh, comment and let me know your thoughts. Is there any other possible way you can see that a timeline was created? Do you think the timeline, an alternate timeline is the solution? Do you think the time rings are the reason they still exist? I hope you will comment. Let me know what you think of this video. This is Super Saiyan 7 Cinders. And as always, I will be back with more content sometime in the near future. Thank you for watching. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super are property of Funimation, Viz TV, Fuji TV, Toei Animation, and Dragon Ball Z Abridged is the property of Team Four Star. Of course, all of it. The initial creator for them was Akira Toriyama. Please check out their content.